Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today we're going to talk about something that goes often overlooked in the fishing community, and that has to do with your gear ratio on your reels. But more specifically, I want to talk about our spinning reels. We hear people talk about gear ratio a lot when it's regarding bait casters. You hear people talk about a slow speed bait cast reel is good for things like crankbait fishing where you've got you know, a, a lower gear ratio reel, you're trying to keep your bait at a slower pace, and therefore that helps you. The opposite end of the spectrum, we hear people talk about high gear ratio reels for things like flipping and pitching where they can pull up a lot of reel, or a lot of line and make a lot of additional casts. So we hear about it all the time. In fact, I get questions all the time from viewers regarding what my setup is for bait, uh, bait casters specifically. So if I'm fishing a spinner bait, do I like a 7.3 to one? Do I like an 8.0 to one? Do I like a 6.3 to one? What is the gear ratio reel or gear ratio speed of the bait cast reels? But I very, very rarely ever hear anyone talk about it when it comes down to spinning reels. So I wanna talk about why I think reels like this Abu Garcia Revo Rocket are really important the same way we talk about high speed bait cast reels. You know, this is, I believe, still the fastest gear ratio reel on the market. This specifically is a 7.6 to 1, so it doesn't sound like it's that fast, but that is extremely fast when talking about spinning reels. So much so that on this reel, you get 47, a little over 47 inches of line per reel turn. So one reel turn just picked up almost four feet of line. That's about 30% faster than most every other spinning reel on the market, which are generally in the 6.3 gear ratio range. So every time I turn my reel, I'm picking up almost a foot more line. So if I'm going to make a cast and, and make a handful of reel turns, I've just brought my bait in a lot faster. Now, personally, I don't use my spinning reels that much for actual speed, the same way I do my, my bait casters. So what I mean by that is I'm not retrieving baits in the same way I'm generally doing it with a bait cast reel. Most of the time when I'm fishing spinning gear, now this is me personally, I'm fishing more finesse tactics. So I'm not moving the bait all that much. A lot of times my, my bites are coming on the fall and not necessarily me just reeling it in like I'm fishing a crankbait or something. But having said that, I still want an extremely high speed reel. So you guys see in my videos, I'm throwing a lot of these Revo rockets. And the reason for that is I want to retrieve my bait as fast as possible when my cast is over. So a bunch of the different uh, techniques that I love to use these for. I'll give you a few examples. Drop shot fishing. Generally when I'm drop shot fishing, I'm either fishing in deep water or making long casts to get the bait away. But I'm not generally working my bait all the way back to the boat. So what that means is if I got to reel this up from deep water or I got to reel my bait in from making a long cast, there's a lot of that cast, probably three quarters of that cast is me not fishing that period. It's me having to retrieve my bait all the way back to the boat. So the faster I can do that, means the more casts I'm gonna make throughout the day. So I love it for drop shot fishing. Wacky rigging, weightless wacky rigging is another one where generally speaking, I make the cast, let my bait fall. I may reel it in a few feet and let it fall again, but I'm probably only working my bait for 10% of my cast. So that means the faster I can get my bait in, the faster I can make another cast. There are a whole bunch of different uh, reasons for having the speed. If you guys like to use forward facing sonar and you're looking at fish, the faster you can get your bait in to make a cast to where you see a fish means you have a greater likelihood of catching that fish. So that's another reason why you'd want, uh, you'd want some speed. Maybe you like to fish really shallow flats in clear water. One of my favorite things to do in the summertime where I'm actually looking for fish. Well, when you're seeing fish out there, the faster I can get my bait out to them, the more of a likelihood I'm going to get them to bite. So it really is important when using your spinning gear to recognize that there is time and places where you might want a high speed reel like this rocket. 
you know, I probably wouldn't be throwing it when I'm throwing a finesse swim bait because a lot of times that's when I like to have a real slow retrieve back to the boat. So even though I want to reel this extremely slow, generally speaking, you're going to be picking up more line than you want. So that would be the same as when I'm fishing a crankbait on bait cast gear of wanting to go with something that's a little bit slower. Uh, the same could be said for when I fish jerk baits. Generally, I fish jerk baits on spinning gear. And in that instance, I probably don't want to use the Revo rocket because I want to keep my bait out there and suspended and not retrieve it real fast back to the boat. Now, maybe there are times, especially in the summer, where you want to work your jerk bait extremely quickly. And from that standpoint, I might think about going with a rocket. But there are times and places, guys, where just like with bait casting gear, you want a high speed retrieve reel and you're not gonna find anything better than the Revo Rocket. I love this thing. Now I do wanna point out two things though. Because it's such a high gear ratio reel, there does, uh, you will feel more resistance on your reel handle turns. It's similar to riding a bike. If you're in a high gear of your bike, it takes more effort to turn the pedals the same way it does on the reel. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say it's hard to turn the reel handle, but when you hook up with a fish, it does, you do feel that higher gear ratio. So it's something you get used to. It doesn't take long to get used to, but it's something you'll notice on the, on the first couple of fish catches when you have them. The other thing I want to point out with that is if you are using light line, you need to be aware of that. So you do want a high speed reel that's got a great drag system like this rocket. And the reason for that is if you're using light line, and you're putting more pressure on the fish with your reel handle turns, you need to have a good drag set. You don't want to have your drag as tight because it's um, it it's, takes less effort to break off. Let's put it that way. If I'm throwing six pound tests, I've got a five pound smallmouth on, and I'm trying to really crank on them, and my drag is tightened all the way down, you're talking about me pulling hard, the fish pulling hard, and that can lead to uh, issues if you're not aware of that. Again, this isn't really a big deal. It's just something the first time you're using it, you're gonna have to recognize. The same thing goes for your bait casting gears. If you're winching a fish out of heavy cover, you gotta recognize that you're putting extreme pressure on that fish and he's putting you know, a lot of pressure on the line too. So you could potentially break off. I just wanna point that out when you're talking about using four or six pound tests, it's more of an issue than if you're flipping with 50 pound braided line. What happens with your 50 pound braided line is you pull the hook out more often than not. So I think you guys need to look into getting a high speed spinning reel if you have not tried one already. The Revo Rocket is one I've been using now for probably five years and I love it. It took me a little bit of getting used to and now it's a mainstay on probably half of my spinning rods because I want to retrieve my bait fast to make additional casts because I know those additional casts throughout the day equal a lot more opportunities at catching more fish, which means if I catch more fish, I get greater opportunity at cashing checks and making a living in the fishing industry. So I recognize how important this reel is for me. And I think they're awesome. They just revamped them this year too. And they're pretty, uh, pretty exciting. They look pretty cool. All the new Revo spinning reels actually have been extremely revamped and upgraded drastically across the board. I don't think you'll go wrong if you try like the Revo STX or the Revo SX. They're all great products, especially for the price point. Uh, but I'll put the link up in the video description if you want to check this out. I highly recommend a high-speed reel. I don't know why we always hear the discussion about baitcasters, but never in the spinning reel market. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts. If you've used the Revo Rocket, put it up in the comment section. I'd love to know what you guys think about it so that others can learn from you as well. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned, new video coming out tomorrow.